Today I'm working on a Honda Accord that has a substantial dent on the body line crease. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to remove this extremely large damage dent with PDR. No fillers and no painting. Are you wanting to learn how to remove extremely large damage dents? Well, I'm going to show you step by step how to repair the right side with no filler or paint. What's up and welcome back to another paintless dent removal. I'm Clark Ken, the man of steel. Today I'm repairing the right rear quarter panel of this Honda. The insurance company wants to perform body work and paint. However, the man of steel wants to save the paint with his PDR skills. Let's take a closer look at the damage on this Honda Accord. Looking at the rear quarter panel, most of us already know a one inch dent on a body line is tough to remove. However, a 30 inch on a body line will be extremely difficult. 14 inches in height, there is crowning around the dent. The body shops down the street said it was impossible to remove large damage like this without cracking the paint. The Man of Steel is definitely up for the challenge. Here is a list of tools I will be using. Three paintless dent repair rods for pushing. Three tips for different sculpting techniques. Nylon clip remover. An auto body slide hammer. Cold glue. Plastic crease tabs. A glue gun. A polisher for the clear coat. 10 millimeter and an impact drill. A PDR light to see the damage. And if you don't have a dent lifter, don't panic. You can use different types of straps and cables to pull the damage. I'm going to begin my technique with hot glue. Starting on the outside of the body, later I will switch to the underside. Before I can glue pull, I will need to clean the panel with alcohol. I have four large crease tabs. I'm going to stick to the panel. I'm applying hot glue to the surface of the tabs. Next, I'm placing the tabs directly on the body line, giving each tab a gentle push. Attaching the hook of the slide hammer to tab number one and tab number two. Now, attaching the dent lifter to tab number three and tab number four. These two tools will help pull up the body line. Here is tip number one. Important to pull the body line evenly so you don't warp the panel or warp the body line. You can see the bottom side is beginning to release. Now you can see the entire dent is lifting. It's leveling up with one simultaneous huge pull. Giving the slide hammer a few extra pulls. Here is tip number two. Place your lifter legs across two panels so you do not create more damage. Let's reassess the damage. Now you can see the remaining crowns and low spots. Moving on to my second technique in this repair. I'm going to do some panel beating from the outside using my blending hammer. I'm gently hitting, lightly touching the crowns. Here is tip number three. Don't hit too hard, it will create more work resulting in a longer repair time. Switching sides. I'm looking for a different read on the panel. I'm releasing tension and moving my tension hook closer to the door. I'm blending the crowns into the dents and into the rest of the panel. It's getting warm outside. I'm going to do the remaining body work inside the shop. It's time to chime back in on this big dent repair on YouTube 
Are you learning a lot so far? If you're a new subscriber, put in the comment that you're a new subscriber and I will personally respond. Now, I'm going to show you more of my method. Looking at the damage, you can see I pulled a good 85% out. My next step, I'm going to remove the pins and the glue tabs so I can take a closer look at the body line. I'm cleaning the panel with alcohol. Now I'm going to begin step number three. I'm going to try a round with the cold glue method. These tools are great for popping out easy, shallow dents. I'm leaning into the panel, giving the tabs a twist and a push, then several strong pulls. Here is tip number four. Warming up the panel before placing the cold glue tabs will help the tabs adhere better to the panel. After cleaning the panel, the shallow dents did not release. Moving on to the fourth step. Now I'm going back to the hot glue method. This time I'm going to use a large three inch tab. These tabs fit really nice within the dimensions of the dent. Placing the hot glue on the plastic surface of the tabs. Giving the tabs a gentle push into the center of the dent. Now, placing the slide hammer hook through the eye bolt, giving the slide a few pulls. Here is tip number five. Be careful not to pull too hard and overstretch the metal. Pay close attention to the metal movement. I'm using my PDR light in conjunction with every pull. placing the next tab in the shallow spot near the tail light, running the hook through the eye bolt once again, giving the slide hammer another strong pull, now removing the tabs. Let's take a closer look at the results and see the remaining damage. So the large damage is shaping up really nice. What I'm going to do next in my method is knock down some crowns around the dent. Then I'm going to do another round of pulling with my PDR glue tabs. Step number five. I'm using a variety of knockdowns and hammers to blend the crowns back into the dent and into the panel. I'm addressing every high spot in order to restore the shape back to its original factory finish. I noticed three low areas just above the body line. Using heat to warm the panel, I switched out the sides of the tabs. Now I'm using roughly a one inch tab. I'm placing the hot glue onto three tabs. Now placing the tabs into the panel just above the body line. I grabbed a lighter slide hammer. I'm ready for my next round of pulling. Paying close attention to the angle of my slide hammer, I'm holding the tool perpendicular to the panel, giving each tab a few pulls with the slide hammer. Then remove the tabs from the panel. I will use alcohol, a wedge, and a hammer. Going to do another round of blending by manipulating the panel by using my knockdowns and hammers to remove the high spots. The entire quarter panel was dented. It is requiring lots of extra blending. My sixth step I'm going to remove some parts to gain access to the back side of the panel. Removing three screws on the bumper with my impact drill. Next, removing plastic interior clips, then popping off the trim and pushing back the interior. There are two 10 millimeter bolts under the bumper. I'm removing four more nuts behind the light that need to be removed. Removing the wire harness and off comes the light. Moving on to step number seven. 
I'm going to use the paintless dent repair technique. My PDR rod is ready with the saw tip already in place. The brake light is a perfect access point for my tools to work the underside of the body panel. Here is tip number six. Push lightly with your rods. Sometimes you need to warm the paint if it's cold so you don't crack the paint. I'm going to fine tune the panel with multiple PDR rods, tapping and knocking down the repair to remove more high spots. Then blend the high spots to match the texture of the paint we call orange peel. This is how we remove dents from the body of a car. My next procedure, I'm going to put the car back together, starting with the brake light, putting it back into place. I'm screwing in two bolts, four nuts, and pushing the interior back and snapping the plastic trim back into place. Finally, tightening up the screws on the bumper. My ninth step, I'm going to polish the panel. I'm applying polish to the pad. I'm guiding my polisher throughout the panel. Now it's time to see the final results. really appreciate you watching my PDR YouTube video. Is paintless dent removal your passion? Would you like to see more videos on how to repair extremely large damaged dents on a body line crease? Like, comment, and subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification button, and I will see you when I post my next video. You guys continue forging your future. I'm signing off.